Hello, thank you for joining this video. Here we'll explore the grid images section for your Shopify store. So for this, we need to go to our theme customizer and from here, choose the page where we'd like to add the grid images section. So keep in mind that you can actually add it to any page that you'd prefer. But for our example, let's stay with the home page. So now we need to scroll down here to the add section and now click on it and choose the grid images. So here is our section, create images. Let's now add it and let's click on this section. So from here, we can choose where the big image position will be. So as you can see in this example, we have this image bigger than this one. So we can change it. We can choose it in the left side or on the right side here. So for this example, let's leave it in the left side. And next we have the layout section, we can make a full width. So if unchecked, the container width will be set based on the group layout setting in the theme settings. So this is here in the theme settings in the layout. And here we have the container width set as medium 1680 pixels. So let's come back to our sections here. Then we can add the offsets. So these are uh, the like space borders between the sections. So here in the desktop top, we don't have any offset. So let's add it here. And as you can see, we have more space between these sections here. And we can do the same for the offset bottom and to the mobile offsets as well. And these are all the settings for this section overall. Now let's come back here and add the content. So as you can see here, we can add only two images. So we have this first one and the second one. You can remove one of the images. So let's remove the block. We'll have just simply one image here or we can add the second one. So now let's click on the first one. This will be the big picture. So here we see a label, we can rename it. So for example, like new product or maybe new collection, you can name it as you'd prefer. And here in the heading, this is it. You can also change the name. For example, let's call it bestseller. Next, you can choose the image for the desktop version and for the mobile ver version. So let's choose the image for the desktop here. So we click on it and let's just scroll through our library to choose um, the image here. So let's choose maybe this one. This is the image of the dress. Uh, we can also add the same for our mobile version. And next we have the image border width. So let's increase it here. So as you can see, we have these borders now. We can make them even more wider, as you can see here, or we can set the width to zero pixels and there will be no borders. So let's now add, add these, add two pixels here. We can also change the image border indent. So as you can see, it's set to 10 pixels now. So the border is within the 10 pixels from the like actual border of the image we can make it even more so here as you can see or we can just remove it overall or let's set it to here for example next we can link this whole picture this whole section so we can just click here and uh, you can choose new collection or the specific product so let's just choose the product here and look through our products. So let's just choose any product in here. So next we see uh, the overall color, over overlay color. So when we click here, we can choose which color will be set as the overlay. So for example, let's choose like this pink color here. And now, as you can see, the overlay opacity is set to 30%. So this is why it's like a little bit dusty pink. We can, of course, increase the opacity here, or we can decrease it to like a couple of percents, just so that it, it gives a hint of the color. So let's set it as in here. We can also change the text color and the image border color. So for example, let's make the image border color similar to the 
similar to the image, um, the color of the overlay. So here is how it can be changed. Okay, now let's change it back. Don't forget to always save your changes in here. And now this is it for the first image here. So let's now move on to the second image. So we click on the second image here. We can add, um, let's add just new collection, for example. Add some text in here as well. And let's also add another image from our gallery. You can also use the search if you have the specific names for your picture. So feel free to use it from here. You can use the search button. Uh, and now let's add this image here. So this is the new image that we've added. Uh, we can also change, add the same image for our mobile in here. You can also click on added button on the image to change the focal point. So for example, if you want the like image to be centered around this point here, just click it, save it. And now as you can see, the image has moved to the focal point that we've added. So next we have exactly the same settings. We can also change the like color overlay. So let's choose this color here. We can make the bigger opacity or decrease it. So just the completely the same instructions uh, and settings as in here. And of course, don't forget to save your changes. So next, let's explore uh, the same section grid images, but we'll take a look at uh, the big picture on the left side. So we'll compare both of them. So we add the grid images section here and we choose the, we click on the grid image and we change the big image position to the right. So now let's just add some content here. Let's just add Let's just add this address here. Don't forget to also add the address to the mobile as well. And now let's go to the second, the bigger picture here. So we click on add the product. Just scroll down to any product that you'd like to add here. Choose the product. We can also change the focal point here. As you can see here, it's needed. Okay, and also we can, of course, link this to, um, to any of our collections or products. So let's click on product and just add any product to, uh, to link up with this image. So now let's save our changes. And now let's take a look at our new grid images section. So let's scroll down here and here we'll find the first grid image. As you can see, we have the small picture here. We have the bigger picture in here. And you see when the, um, the picture is linked to a specific product, when I hover on it, as you can see, it kind of zooms in. However, when the picture is not linked to any product, or any collection or anything whatsoever, when I hover on this image here, nothing happens. So as you can see, the difference is here. And the same goes for this section as well. When I hover on this image, nothing changes. But when I hover on this image, since it was linked to a product, it zooms in. So this is how you set up uh, this um, grid image sections. You can, of course, uh, choose different uh, pictures. You can choose different um, color overlays. To, you can make two and even more same sections, make them the same style to look as one big collage. So you can do all of this from your Shopify customizer here. And if you have any questions regarding uh, the grid images or if you need any theme support, feel free to contact our team. We're always here to help. And don't forget about our theme manual here. We will link it down below. Feel free to check it. And thank you very much for your time. Have a great day. Goodbye.